Hey y'all, and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. And Merry Christmas from the Gulf Coast. I love a good holiday theme, so this month we are going to be doing some core for Christmas. You can expect new core routines uploaded to the channel all month long. If you're new to the channel, here's where you're gonna find fun, functional fitness routines using some of my favorite methods. And today's method is Pilates abs on the mat using a bender ball. We have five minutes of core work, one minute each exercise. I'm going to demonstrate the move for you and then punch my timer and we'll have a timer on the screen so that you can count down and do this routine in real time with me. Let's get to the moves. Our first exercise, we're gonna be laying on our back. Bring your knees up to 90 degrees. Your bender ball is gonna go between your knees. Make sure that you have your low back planted nice and firm into the floor. And we're gonna lower those toes down and knee lift and squeeze. Let me show you one more time before we start the timer down. Up and squeeze. Here's our one minute right here, okay? And we pick some fun holiday jingly type music to overlay this video. So enjoy that. Get into the spirit while your abs start to scream. <laughs> Make sure you get a good contraction there on your knee lift in the top, okay? And this is not about how many you're doing, but about the quality of the move. If that low back starts to lift up, just tuck your heels in a little bit closer. Make your levers a little bit smaller, like that. And I'm still here with you. Squeezing, lowering. We're about to change moves. I'll show you the move before we start the time again. And that's it. Extend your right leg, tuck your ball behind your left. You're gonna lower your left toes, point your right. Okay? Lower the left toes, point your right. There's your timer. Your upper body nice and flat. Point the toe, squeeze the legs. And then if you would like another option here, another level up, we're gonna pull towards the right knee. So I'm kind of taking just a little pause right here on the top. Stay with me, you're almost there. Give me one more on the side. Well then pull that knee in. You're gonna switch balls to the other side. Tucking that right knee. So I always get confused when I go to switch choreography for my legs about what I'm supposed to be doing. So hold on, there we go. <laughs> toe out, toe up. Now we'll punch that timer right here for one minute on this side. Here's a little trick on this one. You're working your hamstrings too. So bonus, we're doing abs, hips, and hammies here. And here's that level up. If you wanna pull up, take that little rest in the top and down. You're doing great. Beautiful legs, beautiful abs. Give me one more. Awesome. Pull those knees in, release the hip flexors if you need to. And we're gonna tuck your ball right underneath your booty here. It's gonna feel uncomfortable at first, probably until you get this. Let me show you this. So we're gonna release the hip flexors by pulling in, and then we're gonna go out into a mermaid tail. So this is a supported mermaid right here. So only go so far down as you can control yourself on top of your ball. Let's punch that timer right here. Let's take one minute. 
And you've got plenty of time here to play around with your depth of your legs and mermaids. Start to use your breath as we're working deep, deep into the core on these Pilates abs. This is actually one of my favorite bender ball ab moves. <laughs> Breathe through this. Take a little rest on the knee bends if you need to. That's your last one, okay? Grab your ball, sit it on up, tuck the bender ball between your low back, hip sort of, and the mat. And we're gonna roll those shoulders in. Check me out right here by pulling my abs in tight, pressing up. So I'm pressing my low back against the ball, pulling up, and I call this quake. Because if you can see on camera, I don't know if you can, I have a whole lot of shake going on in this core. And his belly shook like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> Let's just channel all the Christmas quips, right? Back and lift. Pull everything in tight and lift. Make sure those shoulders stay back. And lift. Open the hands. Like you're saying, Santa, bring me the presents right here. Santa, bring me the six pack abs. We're almost there. And counting into our last five seconds, let's take a big hold here. Big hold against that ball. Big breath. And sit up and release. Wow. So that was some serious core work. A bender ball is one of the most versatile, inexpensive tools that you can use at home for workouts. If you're into Pilates and bar type workouts, I will definitely leave some links to where you can find those in the description for this video. Have you used the bender ball before? Do you enjoy it? Did you hate this? I hope not. I hope you liked it enough to leave me a like. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can join me here in class more often.